Hey Deckers, today I'm going to have a look at Jump Space. Huge thanks to Keepsake Games for giving me a key to test this one out on the Steam Deck. And despite its rough looking performance when all hell is breaking loose in space battles, it is actually playable on the deck. It can look a little bit rough at times as you'll see here, especially when there is a lot going on, but I do feel it's not that bad considering how we've seen some other games performing. Settings wise there isn't a huge amount to this and it does look a lot better in certain circumstances. Obviously the more explosions and things going on the more that performance does degrade. But for graphics we are looking at half on the texture resolution with SMAA on anti-aliasing. Limit the frame rate down to 40 and have the upscaling set to TAA. And in most circumstances, this will look absolutely fine. And you're really not going to be looking at that frames per second counter very often as it does perform as you would expect. With space battles, it does sit just around the 30 frames per second mark, occasionally getting a little bit higher and minor dips here and there. But again, you're not really going to notice it. But when you are running around in the ship with those battle sequences, it does get a little bit worse. When we're in areas and in kind of instance areas, taking on lots of enemies, especially trying to do some of the objectives, that frame rate can dip down into the low 20s. And it does feel a little bit choppy, but once again, because it's mostly PvE, it's not the end of the world with those frames per second dropping so much. If you really can't stomach those dips that much though, it is also available on GeForce Now if you want to get that premium or higher tier and then you are able to play this at full graphic settings on the Steam Deck providing you have a decent internet connection of course and then this game really does look absolutely gorgeous. As you can see here with those graphic settings ramped up we're still pushing only around 60 to 80 frames per second but the game does look a lot better. And then your biggest problem becomes trying to remember your way around the ships, especially when you have to start putting out fires and other bits and pieces as well. Overall, this game definitely deserves a lot more players, so do hop in and give it a go if you can, as it is a mostly multiplayer game. Although you can play solo, it does make things a lot more difficult. Let us know in the comments below if you're going to be diving into this one and whether you're going to be playing on the Steam Deck or on GeForce Now. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.